What's up, everyone? V here, and today I'm here with Tay Tantra, and she's going to tell you all a little bit about herself. Hello. <laughs> uh, my name is Tay Tantra. I moved to Melbourne six months ago from the NT, from Darwin. Uh, I grew up there my whole life, started rapping four years ago. Uh, yeah, what else can I say? I'm pretty cheeky, a uh, bit of a conscious rapper as well at the same time, so a bit of a mixed bag of goodies. And yeah, I'm keen to be here. So thanks for having me. Dope, dope. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for joining me. Um, it's going to be exciting. Uh, we can get to know you a little bit better, I guess, with these questions that I got coming up. So I know a lot of, you know, the cliche question is like, what inspired you to do music? But outside of music, you do a lot of other things as well. So I wanted to know what inspired you uh, to work with Dream, Impact and Inspire? And yeah, just tell, tell the people a little bit about the youth work you do surrounding music as well. Yeah, um, so I was fortunate enough to meet um, Charlie T, Charlie Templer, um, at one of my shows um, at Happy Yes in, in Darwin. Mm -hmm. And he hit me up um, after after the gig in the smokers area. And he was just like, look, I really like your energy. Um, I'd love to work with you. And yeah, Charlie's really good like that. He reaches out to a lot of people that he sees potential in, in the community. Mm -hmm. and he tries to get them involved with the youth so um yeah uh i met charlie and did my first stint with youth work uh facilitating at youth workshops out at um arnhem land mm -hmm. and uh we did some like dj workshops and we also also helped the kids like write songs Dope. so i worked yeah I worked with the girls and um, Charlie Moore worked with the, with the boys and we ended up making a really, really cool song and it, it's up on YouTube as well, Yakali Girls. Um, damn, yeah. no, no. All right, I'll leave a link down in the description below for that for people to listen. That's so cool. I, I didn't know that, yeah, that's the sort of youth work you did, but that sounds so fun and, and so rewarding. Yeah, yeah. So it was out on a, um, a pretty small community um in east arnhem land uh so yeah i'm not i'm not sure how many how many people live out there but there's not many and i think we we're out there for about three days it was pretty cool um and really really eye-opening experience like i learned a lot um and i'd never never been out to that way um in the nt before so it was right. cool to check it out yeah it must have been such an awesome and unique opportunity for for these people because as you said the pretty small community i imagine it's not every day they can have people come in and teach them how to DJ and write songs. Yeah, they they were really, really keen and they're super, super um, creative and really good dancers out there as well. Um, Aboriginal people can be, yeah, amazing dancers. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they kill it. They absolutely kill it. <laughs> yeah. Dope, dope. Well, um, well, t talking about yeah, your youth work. How do you think that your work, that well, doing that sort of work, has influenced the music you create, or has it, you know, had any impacts on your creative process or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, it's helped me to think about my demographic a little bit, and mm -hmm. also um, just keeping in mind that younger people can be listening in. Um, so my first few songs that I released, I just didn't really think about, um, you know, the youth listening. Uh, so I had a lot of swearing, a lot of, a lot of 18 plus references. Um, <laughs> yeah. so I, I still, I still do that, but I'm just a bit more conscious about who's listening in. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a, that's a great answer. I think that's a really great takeaway, I guess, to have have from doing that mm. work. and perhaps it's something that I can learn from too because I reckon I I definitely have a foul mouth when I when I rap I think it you know it comes pretty naturally in the sort of music that we create and I think at a lot of yeah. times it's pretty damn hard to not swear in your cursing you know because you want to yeah. evoke that emotion you know you also I know, I know you don't want to overdo it but you know swearing is really good at evoking that emotion in a song <laughs> yeah yeah but also um it can it can uh, minimize your vocabulary a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, keep you a bit in a bit of a box so 100. yeah with with the yeah so with the with the youth work that I've done so it, I've uh, done two times out at East Arnhem Land mm -hmm. um also worked at uh 
Darwin High School, which is where I went to school, and also Corrugated Youth Arts Centre as well. Um, but what I was going to say is with with children listening in, um, that's because I've done a couple of youth shows as well. So, right. um, yeah. Yeah, that's sick. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's it's really interesting. Yeah, having that sort of range in your audience and having that consciousness, as you said before, of how you're actually going to put out music now, knowing all the different ears that are listening to it. Um, I think that's mm. I think that's something that definitely most artists can learn to do because then then you know what sort of music to make, I guess you know, and what what sort of thing is going to connect the best to whoever is listening to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And I I like to um I like to think my music's all inclusive, mm -hmm. all genders, all walks of life, all ages. So I don't want anyone to feel left out or yeah. Yeah, dope. restricted that they can't that they can't tune into Tay Tantrum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. I mean, I mean that that was a very wholesome and sweet answer. I think that's you know. Uh, <laughs> It, it, it's it's the same as your music a lot of your your music is pretty pretty wholesome and a lot of it's also really deep but then you also have some pretty like poppy fun stuff as well it's you've got yeah. a great range absolutely great range um and you, you. you are <laughs> I remember the the first time I ever saw you perform uh, I think was at Embers to Empire I think that was the name of the mm. show yeah yeah and, yeah, was, yeah. Like, and even before that I had seen your entries uh that you'd put in for that competition to be able to perform that show. And yeah, honestly blown away. You're such an incredible MC. And being the first, you know, incredible female MC we've had on Indie Interview, I wanted to give you this opportunity to shout out some other dope female artists out there that people might not be aware of. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of us are aware of them, but we've got Grace Chia, uh, Phoenix, uh, G Rebel. Barker, everyone knows Barker, but Barker's amazing. Um, yeah, just a lot of women around the country with something to actually say. Clara Vizzi. Uh, there's, I, I've been meeting so many people here, here in Melbourne, whether they're actually based in Melbourne or they're just coming in for shows. But yeah, there's a there's heaps. I, yeah, I'm sorry I've missed so many, but um, yeah, you know, you're right. Elwana, it's, it's, it's hard. It's Shook. hard to think of all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think in There's the last so few many. years, in the last few years, especially here in Melbourne, I reckon I've noticed there have been a lot of more female artists getting out there. Um, and yeah, it's good to see. I've been meeting a lot more of them out and about, um, especially at Ripe Hip Hop. I reckon Ripe definitely puts on, their, their audience always has so many dope female rappers in the audience and even on stage performing as well. I don't know if you've had a chance to go out to one of their shows yet or not. No, I really wanted to go um, the night where they were, uh, raising awareness for um, gender-based violence, but um, I was I was um, opening for Wombat that night. Oh um, damn! So I didn't, yeah, so I didn't get to make it, but um, I really want to want to head down and check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dope. So I definitely recommend it. They, yeah, they definitely put on a dope show. Um, all right, well, that's, that's that's done with all the personal questions, I guess. Let's get more into the <laughs> music industry side of things. Uh, you mentioned at the start in your intro that you moved here from Darwin uh, a couple months ago now, and I just yeah. want to ask, what's the, how does the local music scene differ in Victoria compared to Darwin, and is there one you prefer over the other for any reasons? Definitely not one I prefer over the other. <laughs> They're both lovely in their own right. Um, but Melbourne definitely has a little bit more to offer. There's more going on. There's more people, obviously. Um, but because I grew up in Darwin, I've got a soft spot for it. Mm -hmm. And when I started rapping, the boys just welcomed me. And there's a couple girls uh, more more in the singing side of stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just welcoming me, welcoming me into the scene. Everyone was just amazing like you would think that there would be a few people that are like oh who's this chick or you know not have time for me but all of them were just like look jump on stage see what you've got give it a go and even if you suck we'll have your back <laughs> awesome that's sick yeah I think I actually was chatting with charisma about this on the last interview and and we talked about how like people are 
really friendly like the local scene like there's a lot of love and a lot of kindness out there and I know there's some people that might be a little bit intimidated to go out there and perform or whatever because they're scared they might bomb um but I don't think they understand that even if you go out there and as you said do a terrible job people are still going to be really cool and chill about it like no one's you're not getting booed off stage or anything like that like at the end of the day everyone is there to just have like a good time and share their art with each other yeah, for sure. And to be honest, I, I was a little bit nervous about moving to Melbourne. Melbourne, I thought, oh, you know, coming into the scene, there'll be more chicks, there'll be more competition. Um, I, I think I, I'm a little, I've got a little dash of bogan in me as well. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, am I just going to come in and they're going to be like, whoa, who is this chick? <laughs> 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 but um, like everyone here has been so lovely, like, that yeah, that first gig, um, Embers to Empire, mm-hmm. that that solidified that I'm gonna hang around Melbourne for a bit. Um, Dope. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm so glad to hear, and I think I think Melbourne is you know lucky to have you here. So glad you decided to stay. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> um, all right, that's that. Honestly, wraps up all the questions. You gave such great answers to everything. I'm sure everyone at home learned a bunch from everything you said. Uh, before I let you go, though, as tradition, we've got to do the ABC challenge. So you'll get two attempts at this. Just got to say the alphabet as fast as you possibly can. Sounds a lot easier than than you may think. But yeah, just you can. I'll give you a second if you need to drink some water or practice or anything. But tell me when you're ready and and I'll, I'll be I'll be ready to time you. All right. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Dope. Dope. OK, so. I'm ready to start the timer, so you just start saying the alphabet whenever you're ready. All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Oh, okay. That was pretty fast. That was, you, you made me think like you were going to be ridiculously slow. That was, to give you an idea, that was three and a half seconds, you know? So that's, that sort of slots you in at like the middle of the leaderboard probably there. Um, I will double check these times once I go into recording so they're more more precise because, you know, my reaction time might be fucking it up or something too. But three and a half seconds is honestly pretty good. You got one more attempt. Ready when you're All right, let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, B, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Oh, oh, honestly, if you didn't, if you didn't have that one slip up, you would have been. Oh, you heard it. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't have that one slip up, you would have been like a quarter of a second faster than your old time. But that was still like a tenth of a second faster than your first time. Marginally faster. Yeah, yeah. Um, but around three and a half seconds. I'm not the fastest rapper. <laughs> no, no, that was dope. Honestly, that was still really quick. Probably still honestly faster than what I can fucking do. So I ain't talking shit. Um, <laughs> um, all right. So before I let you go, uh, are there any new singles or releases that are going to come out soon that you want to tell the people about? Uh, I want to keep the releases on the low for mm-hmm. now, but I've got some exciting collabs coming up um, with some beats produced by some really sick people. <laughs> um, You're just leaving <laughs> breadcrumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but also, um, I'll also, I've got a gig coming up in November at Bad Decisions, uh, okay. opening for Zach, Zach Byrne, mm-hmm. uh, Zach Byrne, yes. Byrne, I'm not sure how you say his last name, um, for his album launch. So yeah, 16th of November at Bad Decisions. Sick. All right. Well, you heard it. 16th of November, guys. Get down to Bad Decisions. I'll put a link in the description for the ticket info and all that shit as well. Once again, Tay, thank you for joining us. Um, it's been great. And I hope to see more music from you soon. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. No problem. Peace out. Show me what to do. Boy, I'm done feeling numb. He said.